this is my modified Big George rotisserie that I turned into my coffee roaster with one addition. I added a secondary blower to add some convection to it and a little extra heat, which is actually my heat gun. I can roast just about a pound, usually a pound and a quarter is the maximum I'll roast in here at one time. And these are Panama Elita Estate Reserve beans. One thing really nice about the George Foreman Roaster is that it rotates the basket both directions. One towards the, the blower in the back and then by pressing the button it'll rotate the beans away from the blower and back. So at the beginning of my roast I roast the beans towards the blower in the back and then close to first crack and just a little bit past first crack I rotate it away so I can more regulate the roast. I let the beans warm up for about three minutes before I turn on the accessory convection blower. So right now we are at exactly 50 and I'll let them run for three minutes at 400 degrees for the beans to, to warm up before I turn on the convection blower in the back. Well, we're at the three minute mark into the roast and now I turn on the blower. Well, we're three minutes into the roast. I turn on the accessory blower which will then heat up the beans and accelerate the roasting process. Well, I'm 10 minutes in, and the first crack is just starting to go. So it's now it's time to rotate the basket away. So now I rotate it away from the direct heat, and it gives it a great roast. I'll take it out in about three minutes. 12 minutes in and the first crack is cracking away. It's getting a great roast. I'll take it just literally to the set right to the second crack. When the second crack stops is when I'll take it out. That'll be in about another minute. Now my coffee bean cooler is actually an old fan that I had from a range hood, a plastic bin and a basket from a deep fryer that I always hate. Here we go. The first crack, the first roast of the day is now cooling off. There we go, one pound of beautiful Panama roasted beans from Elita Estates. God, this is good coffee. Probably wondering why I roast my own coffee. Well, Panama destroyed my taste for Seattle coffee. Couldn't taste anything better than Panama. So that's why I roast my own coffee. We're on to the second batch of coffee for the day. I can usually do a pound about every 15 minutes. So goes my coffee roasting.